Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. We have a cool double header video on catching some queens and also about a nice little stool that you can make for yourself so it's a little bit easier on your back and all that kind of stuff. Especially for short people like myself, it's fantastic. For people like Zach, there's nothing that works quite right. But before I get into that, what do you think of seeing me in a bee suit? It's not very often you get to see me in something like that. And this is more of the hip style, you know, you can they hang down just a little bit. So anyways, without any more stupidity, here's Zach. Okay, we have a Paul Kelly designed queen catching stool. I have a three inch cushion on there that's well worn. Just velcroed on the top so it saves my, my rear end. Um, this is your standard box compartment. I can reach down, pick the whole stool up with one hand, smoker or queen cells in the other. Uh, the left side has divider slots. Uh, in here, when I have my marker and queen clipper, they'll fit right in here. And then on this side, my used cell cups come out and they just go right in here. And then I'll reuse them. And on the right side, I hold my queen cages with my queen candy. And then once I catch the queen, put the candy in, it goes right in the box in one of three or four locations actually. And I can slide down to the front top there too. And then the magnet holds the door in. So when I'm done, just catch, just grab out the, the queens. See, we've already done a couple at like a 95% acceptance rate. And we're gonna do one real quick for you. Uh, this is a standard five frame nuke. Came and said in the last video, it's a three on one side and a two on the other side with a cheap thin plywood lid, nailed down window screen divider or um, cover to stop the bees from crossing over from one nuke to the other. This is your three, here's your two. Right away, you can see the bees are starting to make new wax. We know the odds are that they're gonna be, both be good. These, this is the first catch out since uh, the week before Thanksgiving. I, uh, I held them over because I, I honestly I needed a break so I just shut down catching queens and let the bees kind of recover from a year-long schedule of catching queens we run uh, 21 plus day schedules there she is right there grab her by her wings, try not to let her curl up, close it in my hands, she's not going anywhere, and I can put the nuke back together without squishing bees or laying uh, the frame anywhere. So then I just gently coerce her right into the cage, keep my finger over so she doesn't blow out or come out, and just press the candy in, I'm gonna tap her down a little bit, and then in. And then she's ready to go. And it goes right in the stool, that's one down. This one's full, and they're out, they're starting to make mac nut honey now. So um, I'm going to take that frame out to give them room. You can see in that frame that they are starting to back fill the brood nest. That's not a good thing. You can see on this one too; they're starting to back fill it just because the mac nut honey is starting to come in so strong. Okay, is gonna take that and look over it, check my work. The real professional checking me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> really smell that mac nut honey. It's really important in my perspective that the wood touches the, the box. Uh, it helps everything stay where it's at. So it's not sliding around, falling down, squishing bees, squishing your queen potentially. And there she is.
And you could probably see that this one is really full too. So we will be removing a frame of brood and bees just to try to control the amount of honey they make. Do you mind showing everybody how you do that? Just kind of so they can see how that goes. Of removing the frames? Yeah, or? to see how much you kind of pull from these things because a lot of people just don't. Okay, so um, on the three framer here, we have open brood, good honey stores. The second frame, we have soon to be emerging brood. And on that frame, we have a decent portion of cat brood. A lot of emerging brood over here too. So, since there's a good population out working on this one, I'm gonna leave it a frame and a half. Then that frame will go to the truck and this will be used to either make up uh, a dead nuke or um, a new hive potentially or brood for a queen bank or cell builder. It just gets thrown into the operation. And this one here, because it's mostly honey, and I'm actually taking some of the cat brood away, I'm gonna leave the bees for this one, just by shaking them in the front, and I'll take that away, and I'll put that on top of another hive, because it's mostly honey, and I'll extract that out, once the brood hatches out. And then Cayman's bringing back some, uh, empty frames. So these are just extracted comb, or robbed out comb, or hives that uh, died because they do die and they just go in the middle slot the outside slot um, I'm keeping the brood in this one closer to the center of the hive so the heat because we you know we, we still do have cold nights here even though it is Hawaii it's like 75 at night <laughs> <laughs> uh, the queen cells just give it a little shake to make or to check to make sure it's good um, I do recommend not shaking them. This is just a really delicate, how I was taught to do it. They just put it right above the brood chamber, or uh, above the brood, so the heat from the brood will keep it warm, and the bees will keep it warm. And then this one, because the brood is on this frame, and this is a full slab of brood, this is the partial one, it's gonna go right in the middle of there, um, as opposed to there being nothing on this one. So, and then we just close it back up. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it's just so weird because in Tennessee right now, it's 30s, you know, 40 degree days. And of course we're getting to play with bees over here on the, no, we're on the north side of the island, right? North side of the big island. North side Kapa of the big Ow. island. Say that? Kappa Ow. Kappa Ow. So Mac Nut Honey is macadamia nut. For those of you who don't know, it's maybe the most awesome nut in the world because it makes honey. <laughs> It has great nuts, and it makes decent pollen, doesn't it? Yes. Good pollen, so it's, it's a good tree, but you can't grow them in Tennessee, unfortunately. We'll stick to pecans, and I guess that'll have to be good enough. But anyways, a lot of fun going over here. We'll, we gotta let Zach get back to all these queens because he's got a lot more to do. Thanks for watching this video, and thanks, Zach. Thank you.